Good morning and welcome to Mount Sinai Holy Church in Jacksonville, North Carolina. We thank you for being here on our YouTube channel and we invite you to come and visit us in person at 315 Ford Street in Jacksonville, North Carolina. We hope you enjoy this morning's message. God bless you.
the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. We give honor to God, who is the head of the to his son, Jesus Christ, and to the Holy Spirit that is in this place today. Amen. 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 There is a, they are bubbling down on the inside. Yes. yes. against the knowledge of God and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Mm. You may be seated. My thought today is the battle for your mind. Yes. Amen. The battle for your mind. We know that there is a struggle daily. Amen. If we want to be honest, Amen. if we can be honest, mm -hmm. there are thoughts that come that we have to put into submission. Yes, yes, yes. There are things that happen that will make us kind of want to go high to the right, but we have to pull it back yes, into submission. Yes. There are some thoughts, there's some proud thoughts that raise up inside of us sometimes that is against the knowledge of God. And we have to capture every thought and put it under submission and give it up and obey Christ. That's Amen. Right. That's right. If anything that's coming up to you that is not in the will of God, you got to put that thing down. You got to suppress it. Yeah. Back in the in the fourth or the sixth century, I'm not sure there was a a, 
uh, Chinese philosopher named uh, Loja. And he wrote something that holds still true today. And I'm going to give it to you today. It says, watch your thoughts, for they become words. Watch your words, because they become actions. Watch your actions, because they become habits. Watch your habits, for they become character. Watch your character, for it becomes your destiny. Now, Romans 12 and 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. We can always understand that negative comes to us. Mm-hmm. Negativity comes to us. Yes. And you can't have a positive lifestyle if you're always thinking negative. That's the yes. Yes. Say that. Say it. Right. Yes. Say it. Mm-hmm. If you have messed up thinking, mm-hmm. you're going to be a messed up person. Yes. 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 Amen. If you're always thinking that you are failure yes. and you're defeated, mm-hmm. you'll never live a victorious life. Yes. Amen. 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 Before you can change your life, you got to change your way of thinking. Yes. And because our mind is what drives us, the devil is after our mind. Yes. If he can get us thinking wrong. If he can get us thinking that we can't come out of this. Mm-hmm. If he gets us thinking that that I've done everything I can, I can't do nothing else, so I just well give up. Mm-hmm. Then we begin to fall back. All right. Fall away from. Yes. But I'm telling you that the devil is a liar. Yes. 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 He's a liar. Mm-hmm. Proverbs 23 and 7 says, For as a man thinketh in his heart, yes. so is he. Yes. If I think I can, <laughs> I can. But I got to get it in my mind first yes. that I'm an overcomer. Amen. See, the, the devil don't want you to know who you are. That's right. So he attacks your mind. Yes. He gets you thinking wrong. Yes. He gets you messed up. But I'm telling you today that I believe what the Word of God says. Yeah. It says life and death in the power of the tongue. Yeah. You need to be able to speak life yeah. in any situation. Yeah. And, and, and then when you speak it, then you trust God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. So then it says, in Matthew mm. 22, 37, Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart yeah. and with all thy soul oh, and with all thy mind. Oh, Amen. Don't let the devil attack your mind. He will bring thoughts to you. But you don't have to act on it. He'll bring it to you. But you don't have to act on it. Hallelujah. Because why? Because I love the Lord. With all my heart. And with all my soul. And with all my mind. And so when he brings stuff to me, I got to go back to 2 Corinthians, the 10th chapter, and then the 5th verse, the very end of it says, and bringing to captivity every thought, every thought, to the obedience of Christ. So if I've got a thought that is against the word of God, I've got to 
We should be doing this every day. Yes. When the thought comes, that's good. That's not. Good thought. Oh, nope. That don't line up with the word. You got to throw it away. Because if you don't, if you get this lingering on it, yeah. start thinking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. You start thinking about that thing, and then after a while, you, you're going to express it into words. And when you express it into words, then you start playing. So Satan will bum, bombard your mind with Things that are um, impure thoughts, mm -hmm. things that will get you out there on that limb. Mm -hmm. I used to say, I, I've said this before, when my children were growing up and they had done something wrong and they would come to me and say, Mama, I didn't do it. Mama, I didn't do it. And my husband would be saying they did it. <laughs> and I'd be saying, what they said they didn't do it, babe. And I get out there on that limb for them. And then while I'm out there on that limb for them, it's being sawed off. Because they were doing what they said they weren't doing. Jesus. Amen. We got to be able to know when stuff come to us, if it's right or wrong. Is this, is this thought, is the source of this thought from God? Or is the source of this thought from Satan? I told you that, I told y'all uh, not too long ago that Satan will send you counterfeits. He'll send you counterfeits. Lord, I need. Lord, I need this. Lord, I need that. And he'll send something that looks all shiny and new. Mm -hmm. Looks like it's pure gold. Yeah. Put that shiny new ring on your finger. <laughs> and after a while, you move that ring and start turning it on. <laughs> I want y'all to know something. I, I, this is not a long message today. I'm sorry, it's short. 
but it's what God gave me and I'm going to see what happens to me. But I want you to know that the devil cannot have my mind. Because see where my mind goes, my body going to follow. Where your mind go. Yes, sir. Your body's gonna follow. Right. And so my mind's got to be right. Yeah. That's why he says, love the Lord. If, if, if the mind wasn't important, Jesus wouldn't have said what he said. That's right. That's right. Now, now other folks have said stuff <laughs> in the Bible. We love Paul. Mm -hmm. We love Peter. Yeah. We love John. Yeah. We love all of them good boys. Yes. But see when Jesus, yes. when he said, Come on, Jesus. you need to listen. That's what yes. Jesus said. And Jesus said, I'm going to go back to Matthew 22, 37. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart. Mm -hmm. Hearts and Yes. Oh, with all thy soul, yes. soul's important. Yes. And he did not say it with all thy hand. No. He didn't say it with all thy foot. Mm -hmm. He didn't say it with all thy feet. Yes, sir. He said with all thy mind. Yes. Your mind. Yes. The devil is attacking your mind. Yes. There is a war for your mind. You've got to stay strong. Amen. You have a choice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said earlier that you can't help the thoughts to pop in. Right. Mm -hmm. But once they get in, right. you determine what happens after that. <laughs> if it is a godly thought, mm -hmm. go keep that. That's right. But if it's something that's going to separate me from the love of Jesus, I got to take that thought and throw it out. I got to capture it and throw it away. Because if I don't capture it and throw it away, then that thing is going to take root in me. It's going to take root because my mind is thinking about it. I got those thoughts. I got to get rid of it. And so the Bible tells us in Philippians 4, 8 and 9, finally, right. Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, Think on these things, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Yeah. You've got to make your you got to make your butterflies fly in formation. Yeah. Right, those 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 stalks that's popping everywhere, yeah. floating everywhere. You got to bring those things into Amen. formation. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. What is it? What is it? When it's negative, that seems to capture our attention mm -hmm. more than positive. Mm -hmm. It's a human nature. Mm -hmm. When you turn on ABC News or NBC or CNN, you might get this much of a good news story, Amen. but everything else is the sky is falling. Because people want to know the negative. They would rather hear about somebody shooting somebody than somebody saving somebody. They, 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 we, we want to hear gossip. All the time. Amen. It's the truth. Yeah. Yeah. We want to know, well, what that, what happened? Girl, did you? 
Girl. Now let me tell you what. Let, I know. Look, I know. I know the real deal. I, 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 I got it. I got the four one one and the nine one one and all of it in the rack of the Let me just tell you what happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you the sheep. 
He wants you to feel hopeless. Yes. Uh -huh. He wants you to feel like you can't come yes. out of this thing. He wants you to think that there's no hope. But see, the Bible says he'll keep you in perfect peace. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, where does the peace come from? It comes from our trust that God is in control. That is what God says instead of what man says. Because I feel like God says it. I don't, I, I don't care what they tell you. I don't care how they make it look. What you got to do is say, I hear what you're saying. But I trust God. Because he tells us to wait on him. Yes, 
Yes. Right. And then when right now he said, be a good courage. Yes. And what is he going to do? Strength. Yes. Yes. My mind is made up. Yes. Yes. I'm sold out, y'all. I'm 